Yvonne writes, I have a question I'm hoping you'll be able to address during the session. My family and I moved to the UK 10 years ago and have received indefinite leave to remain status and are considering applying for UK passports. Okay. Would this have any implications for long-term planning or estate planning in the future? We're also US citizens and my children will likely live in the US and the UK during their adult lives. Uh, does holding a UK passport affect inheritance taxes in the US or UK? Great question. I'm gonna turn that one over to Peter again. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the UK uh, inheritance tax, which is really an estate tax, uh, is much like the US. So the tax is on the person either giving the money or the person who died and left the money behind in their estate. Um, so in the case of the UK, there's three ways that you can be subjected to the inheritance tax on a worldwide basis. All, all UK assets are subjected to inheritance tax. If you live in the UK and you have a UK bank account, if you have a UK property, et cetera, those are subjected to UK inheritance tax. Those are UK assets. But if you're in the UK for 10 years, are you subjected to inherited UK inheritance tax on non-UK based assets? Well, so like I said, there's three primary ways that I'm aware of. One is what's called domicile of origin. You were born in the UK to UK domicile parents, et cetera. And that's not the case here. The second one is deemed domicile, which is you've been in the UK for 15 of the last 20 years. And therefore HMRC says, hey, you're telling us that you intend to stay here permanently. And then the third one is called general domicile. So in the case that we're talking about here, that seems to apply because you haven't been there 15 years, you weren't born in the UK to UK domicile parents, it sounds like, but you're 10 years deep and you're going for UK citizenship. If I'm HMRC, I'm kind of going, hey, your intentions to me look like you want to become a UK domicile. So that's of course not a you know a hard rule. I don't work at the HMRC, but that's how I'd sort of interpret this. So I would say getting the UK citizenship is probably a signal that you might become a UK domicile under the general domicile consideration, but it's not a hard and fast rule. You can be a UK citizen and not be a UK domicile. 